Gideon Bovi Kiyoko Mike Sonko had his blueprint for running the affairs of the constituency. He had a master plan for the youth to create employment. And using the available funds from the CDF kitty, the MP started car wash projects for thousands of youth who would otherwise stay idle the whole day and engage in crime. Sonko bought car washing machines and water storage tanks for the youth in all the words of his constituency. The youth could not hide their joy as finally they had gotten financial freedom and stability. Mike Sonko did not only focus on creating menial jobs. Thousands of young people who had finished their high school education but did not get an opportunity to enroll in tertiary institutions were enrolled at Unity School of Professional Studies. In this institution, the students were trained in computer studies, hairdressing, driving, and others were trained as mechanics. The program was fully funded using the CDF kitty money in order to arm the youth with not only the skills to seek formal employment, but also the ability to become job creators. I had an uncle, Aliniambia, kuna forms zinajazwa CDF makadara za kuchukua inter kwa wanataka kujoin college. Then nilienda huko nikajaza form then nika get chance ya kukama huko cuz nilikuwa na hiyo hamu ya kuja kusomea hairdressing ndio just as in your future yangu we have been uh, involved with the Mheshimiwa Sonko for the last 2 years you realize that he came in a by election 3 months into his election uh, he started uh, bringing students here and uh, also other colleges and um, he has brought in into this college about 800 students. Just arrived. Mike Mbuvi Sonko believes that education is the key to success. He had therefore constantly encouraged his constituents to pursue education with vigor. In doing so, the MP has constantly ensured that all candidates in his constituency are comfortable while sitting their final exams. Sonko normally uses his money to provide lunch for all candidates in his constituency every year. Na hii pesa si ya CDF. Hii ni ile ahadi niliambia wazazi wenu. Nilisema mshahara wangu wa bunge utafanya maendeleo makadara. He is a man with a big heart, a man of the people. His charity does not end there. Those who emerge as top performers in the national examination in his constituency do not go empty-handed. Kila mwanafunzi hapa Makadara aliyepata A plan huwa anampatia 5000 Kenya shillings. A minus 3000 B plus 2000 na B plan 1000. This is done besides providing bursaries for the students, which is drawn from the CDF kitty.
for giving us everything that we need. You are like a teacher to us. You are our teacher number one. So we thank you very much. Mike Sonko also sponsored two students who are currently studying aviation and are on their way to completing their studies. Still on Education Matters, the immediate former Makadara MP also helped institutions of learning to acquire school buses for the pupils. A good example being Harambe Primary School. <laughs> And not only was he involved in contributing for the purchase of the bus, Sonko also left pupils at the institution in smiles, following yet another contribution. Throughout his tenure as MP, Mike Sonko always held meetings with the elderly in his constituency, most of whom missed out on the government plan to give some upkeep money to them. Sonko took the initiative of ensuring that this group leads a decent life by giving them some upkeep money. Sukurani Jema mapeti yako ya kweli. Unatuletea kijana wetu baba. Tunamweka mkononi mwako. Tunamweka mbele yako. Jehova kipigana pita kipigana akiwa pamoja nawe. Muongoze, mulinde, mube nguvu, mube uwezo wa roho mtakatifu. Na hai yote ni mabeji yako na ni ushirika wa kweli. Anatupatia sani ya sakura. Kama ule mtoto on infrastructure, 37 roads have been recapited in Makadara constituency during the reign of Mike Sonko by the Ministry of Roads. This was also done in conjunction with the Makadara CDF. One of the major roads to be recapited was Jogo Road. Another remarkable project was the construction of a road which passes through Buruburu to Umoja, now named Sonko Road. On security, the immediate former Makadara MP constructed the DCIO and OCPD offices at Industrial Area Police Station through the CDF Kitty. Over the past months, food prices have skyrocketed in Kenya. Mike Sonko stood with his people, trying his best to help them cope up with the rising food prices. The MP, who represents a constituency which more than half of its population lives in the slums, has always given food aid to the residents of the various slums in his constituency. This he has done without considering any tribal inclinations. This project is normally carried out using his own money and not from the CDF kitty. Mike Sonko has also been a crusader against land grabbing. The Makadara MP has engaged with police officers and demolishers who normally effect demolitions and even evictions against court injunctions. Sonko personally took the initiative of even giving building materials to residents who were being evicted against court orders to rebuild their houses. Those evicted at night a case in point being residents of Mariguini slums have experienced the leadership of Mike Sonko firsthand. 
When this group was evicted through an action of arson, Songko bought them food and also lamps. The immediate former MP even spent the night with them before solving the issue the following day. How are you going to be able to get out of here? How are you going In fact, Sonko has obtained a court order which has halted demolitions in Makadara constituency until cases involving demolitions are heard and determined. But Sonko did not only come to the rescue of slum dwellers. When Wanja and Kim School in Buruburu caught fire, the MP took the initiative to help the owners of the institution put out the fire. The immediate former member of parliament was involved in a case which showed that Visa Oshual Primary School, which is said to have been converted from a public school to a private school, be returned to the hands of the public. In fact, this school is not in his constituency, but Mike Sonko believed that he was just doing it for the people of Nairobi County. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Article 27, Sub Article 1 of our new constitution, every person is equal before the law and has the right to equal protection and equal benefit of the law. The grabbers, Mr. Speaker, have a court order. We want the Minister for Lands, all the ministries concerned, to send the AG to court to set aside this order which uh, the land grabbers are enjoying. Besides that, Mr. Speaker, the grabbers still abused the court process because initially they went to court by case number 655 of 203, whereby they sued the parents, the headmaster, and the director of city education. But before this matter was concluded, Mr. Speaker, the grabbers went to court again for the second time, and this time they sued the city council of Nairobi. And the City Council of Nairobi, Mr. Speaker, never appeared. They never went to court. This is a clear indication, Mr. Speaker, there was a conspiracy between the City Council and the grabbers to grab this school. So we want an assurance, Mr. Speaker, from the government through the AG. They have to go to court and set aside this order. Honorable Shabesh. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I also want to really thank the minister and uh, help him for coming a situation that was going to go out of control in Nairobi. But most importantly, Mr. Speaker, is to ask him to consider, and because he's sitting next to the Minister of Education, whether that can be a directive given to all such schools that are at risk, especially even those owned by churches, because there are also some churches who want to revert schools from public school to private schools, Mr. Speaker. So we want an assurance, not a verbal assurance from these ministers, Mr. Speaker. They always give us lies. They tell us they'll do this, then they don't do it. The school was reverted to public property. Mike Bovi Sonko also stood with the victims of the Sinai fire tragedy. Besides helping them with money, he filed a case at the High Court seeking that the government should compensate those who were injured and those who died because of the inferno, arguing that the tragedy was as a result of negligence on the government side. Sonko also assisted the Sinai fire victims with a donation of one million shillings. He also paid hospital bills for the victims to undergo reconstructive surgery. When the doctors held their strike over poor pay and poor working conditions in 2012, Mike Sonko could not just sit and see his constituents suffer, most of whom cannot afford the cost of medication in private hospitals. He took tens of his residents to Nairobi Hospital, one of the best hospitals in the county of Nairobi, where he also paid for their bills. Nimaleta hapa hata wao wajisikie kuwa tuna value maisha yao. Mike Mbovi Sonko is not only a county leader but also a national leader. When the Mombasa Republican Council leaders were arrested at the coast province and they were required to deposit bond running into millions of shillings, the coastal leaders shunned them. Other leaders in the country only paid lip service to them. 
Mike Mbovi Sonko walked the talk, coming to the rescue of the leaders. He deposited several land titles in the judiciary to secure the release of the MRC leaders. This he did without expecting any payback from the MRC leaders. In return, the MRC leaders agreed to maintain peace and drop their stance that Pwani see Kenya, meaning that the coastal strip is not part of Kenya. Baliana kuna agreement hapa kuwa wakitoka watazunguka Kenya nzima kupricha amani. Tunazidi kutoa shukrani zetu kwa mheshimiwa Mike Sonko was also in the front line when MPs were tasked to pay their taxes. He took the initiative of taking his tax money to the Kenya Revenue Authority headquarters and gave to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. He is a man who leads by example. During his tenure, Makadara constituency has opened up. Banks and other public facilities have set shop here. Nashkuru <laughs> Mimi najua tukiwa na ndugu yetu Sonko mumchague akiwa senator Sonko atakuwa anatuletea mashida ya vijana wa Nairobi hii na wa Kenya mzima Si ni kweli Si Sonko anastahili na ametosha wale hawana uwezo tumesema makadara wachinje we have got only 3 days to christmas mm. on humanitarian ground ni request ah watu waachiliwe kule christmas <laughs> no words to express myself but i know one day god will speak for me vote mbuvi gideon kioko mike sonko vote prosperity mike sonko a man of the people mike sonko god bless you